Okay, Neil, in order to get the connected car services in the app running and synchronize with the car, there's a couple things that need to happen. First, we need to set it up in Bentley's uh, portal, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, Adam or uh, I can get that set up. Uh, that's through the Bentley Hub. And then once that's set up, the client will get an email uh, to register. They'll download the app. And in that process, they'll inside the app, they'll get a pass code that I believe is 10 digits. That will need to be entered into the car. In the Going from the home screen, go to the apps um, icon here, which is this one at the bottom. And then you'll see activate in-car services. When you click on that, okay, add new user, it'll ask for the 10-digit code that's on the phone. Now, um, on the phone within the app. Now, there's a second set. That's just in-car services. To get the actual um, uh, remote services where you can track the car and lock and unlock the car, that's just activate remote services. That gets turned on separately. And then you'll log in, and then you'll need to punch in a eight-digit uh, alpha numeric code that is found on the key tag when the car is delivered on the spare keys that has a little scratch, uh, like lottery type uh, of scratch thing that you scratch off, and it reveals a code underneath. So the those are the two pieces uh, of data that need to be input to get this working. Now the car already you'll see has a uh, 4G SIM card embedded in it and that's what's running the services like Google satellite um, traffic right now and so forth and here if you go to like fuel info in the apps you'll get actual gas prices that's running off that embedded SIM. You cannot use that embedded SIM as a hotspot. It does not come with a data plan. It's just for keeping uh, the systems in the car updated in the navigation system for example if you want the satellite and the traffic on there you just go to the map layers you make sure you have online traffic on and then you can do satellite map and what that'll do is it'll convert the map display to um, uh, it'll convert it to um, uh, satellite view and in a minute here you'll get Google Earth uh, pictures instead of the uh, the digital renderings um, I hope that's helpful uh, let me know what we need to do to get it activated but that's a summary of the process